issues affecting the girl child in Nigeria have been in the news in the past few weeks. From the celebration of this year's International Day of the Girl Child to the one-year anniversary of the death of Elizabeth Ochaya, the schoolgirl who was reported in raped to death by her uncle in Benway State. Activists say the time to act is now. Celestine Area reports. More than 700 million girls are married before reaching 18 years of age. One in three girls are married before the age of 15. Every 10 minutes, an adolescent girl loses her life to violence. Nearly 44% of adolescent girls worldwide, between the age group of 15 to 19, think it is justified for a husband or partner to hit his wife. While the Nigerian girl profile says, girls within the age of 17 to 19 make up 17 million of the population, girls with primary school education are 56.7%. Girls with secondary school education is 45.7 of the population. 11.6% of girls marry at the age of 15. Girls within the ages of 15 to 19 makes up 30% of all maternal deaths. While a total number of 17,400 deaths were recorded in 2015. 28% of girls aged 15 to 19 experience physical or sexual violence. This media round table organized by the Society for Family Health in collaboration with the Ministry of Health is designed to interact with the girl child to know their challenges and provide solutions. Sarah, Sarah was able to open up. Girls present at this event are given the opportunity to speak out on issues concerning their social, physical and emotional lives. Girls, girls are also coerced to study courses not because they want to study but because it is the parent choice. A girl might want to be uh, an engineer or fly a plane as a pilot. But what the parents want is, they want her to go and study uh, better courses they see as feminine, maybe be a nurse and all those things. So life for the girl is a, a kind of scripted. Like she's not living herself, but living for the parents. Some of these are traditional leaders see it as if bringing these services, all these programs to our age wide of view, it makes them more, more exposed most especially when we talk about condom distribution. That's when you begin to see a community leader say, ah, you see that again? I may forget about that one, maybe say, she don't corrupt. Because a girl doesn't talk to you, please don't plan on raping her. Do not insult her, do not harass her. Let her go and look for another girl. Or rather, wait when you're old enough. In responding, parents are admonished to be more proactive in taking care of their children and attend it to their needs. We point at government all the time. Government, government, government. People do not look at their own innate responsibilities as human beings to their children. And then this is what has been highlighted also in this presentation. If we can even do the little we can for our children, we can forget whatever the government wants to do or not. But we know that government is the prime mover, isn't it? So but the important thing is to know that there are a lot of responsibilities of communities and parents to the girl child. Also, the laws and rights protecting the girl child are highlighted in order to inform participants. The Child Rights Act is a legislation which incorporates all the rights and responsibilities of children in Nigeria and consolidates all other laws relating to protection, care, care of the Nigerian child into one single document. The penal court laws of states, the criminal court is usually, is usually operational in the southern states of Nigeria and the penal courts, of course, in the northern states. This also has different uh, provisions that protects youths. Then you have the UBE Act, which essentially gives the issue of uh, having a universal basic education. Of course, uh, you will have your education from primary school to secondary school level. These are all geared towards protecting the youth's rights. According to a survey by Positive Action for Treatment Access, over 31.4% of girls said that their first sexual encounter had been rape or forced sex of some kind. One of such cases was that of late Ochaina Ogbanji, a 13-year-old who was entrusted by her parents to a relative, Felicia Ogbuja, where she eventually met her death on the 17th of October 2018. Ochaina suffered complications arising from sexual molestation, which she alleged was carried out by the husband of Mrs. Ogbuja 
and her son, Vito Buja. It is important for every child to know their rights, either as a boy or child or as a girl child. Section 11 of the Child Rights Act 2003 says, every child is entitled to his dignity of his person, and accordingly, no child should be subjected to physical, mental, or emotional injury, neglect, maltreatment, including sexual abuse. Celestina Iria, CVC News, Abuja.